tongue twisters. If you practice these, they will really help your accent to improve so the articulation is way much clearer than before. As I've said to you before, um, it, it's a basic talking exercise. It helps you to speak so much more clearer of clarity and it trains your mouth, your tongue, your breathing, your pace, your mind. And often many speakers use it as part of their warm up. And it can just prepare you to just speak with ease. All right, let's practice a few tongue twisters. First one. Really royal raisins write raucously when rainy days rob them of sunny rays. So of course, when you read it, first of all, go very slowly, break up the words, say them with a pause after. And when you're doing tongue twisters, the goal is not speed initially, the goal is accuracy. Then the more you practice, maybe around five times is a good number, then increase the speed. So the more you practice, the more speed will come, okay? So just keep going. Let's check out this one. Here we go. Quick queer questions cause the queen to quiver on her quest for quiet quantum physics solutions. There's so many different styles of tongue twisters. That's one as well. And I would say just go for it slowly. Break up the words. Chunk it. And the more you go over it when you're doing it at first, second, third, fourth, fifth times, then the speed will come. These are really, really key to improve the way you're speaking because you may not be positioning your tongue in the right way when you're talking generally in your conversations, whether at work or on the phone or buying a ticket at the train station. So practice these. This one, you've got to have fun with tongue twisters, yeah? Do not stress. Just keep practicing. Say them out loud. When you're reading them, please, 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 whenever I've said to you read anything, please don't read in your head. I know that's probably how you practice when you were reading as a child reading in your head no i want you to read out loud okay so if this one is uppity erkins under umbrellas urge octus umpires to use up underhanded underwear salesmen you see and even when you mess up you say un you sorry you nick to you nick to us umpires to use up. So even I get it wrong, but I'm just saying to you, go over it again. Uppity, Erkins, under, umbrellas, urge. You nick to us umpires to use up. Under, handed, underwear, salesman. Yeah, so just go for um, accuracy um, and then improve the speed, yeah? So just like, that's what I'm saying. Let's do this last one together. All right, let Letty lean languidly, least he'll lose lots of lean muscle in long, lopsided races. So some of them are words that you're not going to say, and a lot of times, tongue twists are just talking nonsense. It's just something fun to get your mouth kind of moving and grooving in the right direction. Hope this has helped you. And if you want to do more of these tongue twisters and any other accent reduction tips or voice articulation tips, you can see so much more in the course and if you can just click on the link below of this video you will be able to join the course with everybody else thanks for watching leanne at leannesvoice.com